Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to create a gradual CSS linear gradient. Um, what do you think a gradient is? A gradient when you, is when you see a color, um, maybe it could start at white and it slowly fades to black, but it doesn't have a line in between. It just slowly goes from being less white to more dark. So that's what a gradient is. I think that that's kind of important to realize what we're going for. So my guess is in this tutorial we're going to try to go between this uh, CFF color to this FCC color and it's going to just uh, create kind of like a smooth transition. Uh, so apply a color on an HTML element is not limited to one flat hue. CSS provides the ability to use color transitions, otherwise known as gradients, on elements. <clears throat> this is uh, accessed through the background property properties linear gradient function. So this is a JavaScript uh, function right here that you can see. Here is the general syntax. You do the background, and uh, so we're setting the background to a linear gradient with the dra gradient direction, which I'm going to suppose is like right, or it looks like they're going to uh, delineate it in degrees. <clears throat> and then we're going to just have the color of 1, 2, and 3, and then it looks like you can take even more if that's what you want. Uh, the first argument specifies the direction from which the transition starts. It can be started at a degree where 90 degrees makes a vertical gradient and 45 is angled like a backsplash. The following arguments specify the order of colors and use in the gradient. Okay, sweet. So 90 degree makes a vertical gradient where it means the white side would be over here and the black side would be over here with a black and white. And then a 90 degree would be up so that it would start at white and go to black or it would have this kind of a vertical direction. Okay, so we're going to use the linear gradient function for the div element. So the div element's here. As you can see, the div element's actually empty or it's invisible at this point. And um, <clears throat> we're going to set it with a direction of 35 degrees to change and to change the color from this to this. These look like maybe whites. I don't know. Um, while there are other ways to specify a color value, like red, green, blue, or HSL, use hex values uh, for this challenge. So the hex val values is just one followed by a combination of two, three, four, five, six, either letters or numbers. <clears throat> so we want to set the uh, background to be <coughs> a linear gradient. And then we want it to be 35 degrees. And we want the first color to be uh, CC, F, and then FF, one, two, three, four. And then we put the semicolon in there. Interesting. Okay, cool. And so this is the 35 degree ang angle, which means that uh, this is a sort of the where it's uh, crossing the this div element. We can see that because the border radius is set at 20, it has these rounded corners. So if we were to set this at 190, it would become even more round. Um, the width is 70% of the screen. If we were to make it 50% of the screen, it would take up half the space. Um, if it were to take up 100%, it would take up the width of the screen minus the uh, margin. So I'm going to put that back to 70. The height is 400 pixels. That's just from here to here. And then the margin is 50, 50 pixels. That means that there's a margin of 50 pixels. And then it's set to auto, which means it's going to have that on both sides. And that's how we get this element. Interesting. Yeah. We could actually do another one, too, if we just created it down here. Uh, that makes it it's kind of interesting, right? Because now, now we have this, uh, every time we create a div element, it's going to look like that. So, yeah. Now, let's run the test to see if I got it right. Looks like I did. Hope this was useful for you guys, and uh, we'll see you in the next lesson.